In today's video, I'll be showing you how to adjust the Bendix ADB22X disc brake system. First up, we need to get the axle securely supported by jack stands. Build air pressure and release the parking brake. Next, we're going to cage the brake. Insert the caging bolt, turn to the right, and secure with the washer and nut. Apply the parking brake and check to make sure the brakes are caged. Remove the wheels. Remove the cotter pin and pad hold down pin. Remove the pads. If they won't come out easily, you'll need to back off the adjuster. On the back of the caliper, you'll see a rubber cap with a shear adapter underneath. Use the adapter with a 10 mm socket and turn the adjuster counterclockwise to pull the pistons back into the caliper. Remove the pads. With the pads removed, check the caliper slide pins and extend the pistons by rotating the shear adapter clockwise. Check the piston boots for wear. If everything looks good, retract the pistons with the shear adapter. Make sure you stop when you feel increased resistance or the adapter will break. The point of this adapter is to shear under increased torque, saving the caliper. 
Install the pads friction side towards the rotor. Install the hold down and pin. With the pistons retracted, they're too far away from the brake pad, so you'll need to adjust them. Rotate the adjuster clockwise until rotor contact is made, then turn the adjuster the opposite direction until you hear three clicks. At this point, you'll take two feeler gauges and insert them between the pistons and the backing plate. The initial gap will again be too large. Tighten the adjuster until the correct gap is achieved. Don't forget the cotter pin or butterfly clip securing the hold down pin. Reinstall the shear adapter and secure it with the cap. Reinstall the wheels. Run the wheel nuts down until tight. You will torque them when the vehicle is back on the ground. Release the parking brake again and uncage the brake chamber. Secure the caging bolt.
Apply the parking brake. Check to make sure that the brake is holding, then lower the vehicle. Torque the wheels to the specified value. Make sure you pump the brakes a few times before you drive off, then perform a road test to make sure the vehicle is stopping correctly. This is how you replace the pads and adjust the Bendix ADB22X brake. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section.